What's going on YouTube? I got a trade box today from I already forgot his Instagram. Martin eight was it eight thirty four? I think. Yeah, Martin eight thirty four. But it's M A period R T I N eight three four. Trade box. This is an extra that I rock Camaro third gen. Pretty sweet little car for you know for a little mainline. Um, so it was a cool trade. There were some cool extras. There's one car in particular though um, that we're gonna get to. This one's pretty awesome here. This is a little Honda Civic EF hatchback from then and now. Did a little switcheroo there. Nice little wheel swap. Also touched up some detail with the uh, indicators. Axles look to be they look to be uh, stock axles, which I'm a big fan of. Because I know you can make custom axles, but man, it's so obvious when they're made. But here's another nice little touch of detail on the back end with the brake lights and indicators. This is a sharp looking little car. I like it. So I got those two, and then I got this as an extra here. It'll be interesting opening this one handed. May have to set the camera down. Got the game on in the background. Fantasy football. I got Nelson and Aguilar going tonight. Killing it in the first half. My dude's got six receptions for 31 yards, and I'm in a PPR league, so it's working out nice. All right, so I was able to negotiate that I think for the most part <laughs> definitely wasn't pretty but I made it I made it happen so this is uh, Pontiac Firebird 1969 from Auto World it's in a very nice silver might have to switch the tires I just really don't like the white wall tires but that's a super easy fix so not real worried about it the wheels are nice definitely not auto world's worst wheels that I've seen That's a very cool little casting. Whoa. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what is all over it? So that is static grass. That's just from falling on this. I need to, I think I need to run my vacuum on it and just tidy up some loose ends. Because, I mean, for the most part, it's all glued down. Like nothing's coming up onto my finger. But you can see that there's definitely some that's not glued down. So might just have to run the vacuum over the top. No big deal. I like the car though. I love Auto World. 
It's a great brand to collect. Car looks good. It's got a nice stance to it. The only thing I don't like is the white wall tires, but that's an easy fix. So I will get right on that. But here's the car that the trade was for. And this is it's limited to 1248. And it's a special edition. I think this might have been some kind of hobby exclusive or something. But it's the Ultra Red Chase. It also has the Ultra Red base on the bottom. Really nice looking Chevy Impala. I'm not going to open this at this time. But I will. But I wanted to show this other extra that he sent. Because I, I think this is probably my favorite car of the box. And I saw this on his channel. But I really didn't know what to make of it. But now that I have it. And I can give it a close look. It's a. Uh, it's a very interesting car, but I love the color. I love Japanese uh, die cast, Japanese automotive. So let's give this thing a look. Modifiers on the windshield. So this was a, a brand called X Concepts. Came out in uh, 2002. And they brought out, uh, they had like a Honda Civic, an Acura Integra, the Accord. These are super hard to find. It's not something you can just go onto eBay to buy. Um, I think they might have only had Honda licensing because when I checked I didn't see anything else is this still the first half yeah. so but anyway so it's a metal body it's a plastic base you can see there X Concepts LLC made in China 1999 Honda Accord 164 scale it's a pretty nice uh, detail on the base. I couldn't care less about that though. That means nothing to me. This could be a flat piece, piece of plastic for all I care. But it does have rubber tires with tread and prototypical wheels. And another thing that it has that you really don't see is sprung suspension. It's a really nice rolling car got an opening hood with engine detail and then as you can see here on the front end you've got your transparent lens headlight detail and then on the back you have your transparent lens taillight detail it's a super nice car I like it uh, it'll go in the carny case and it'll display with all my other premium import stuff uh, such as this stuff here not all of this is displayed in the carny case but a, the majority of this is all the Kyo show and uh, all the green light is out the oak cabinet but all the Kyo shows in the carny so this one will fit right in it's just a really cool car it's so unique I've never run into those in person um, they are not cheap, though. There's a, I don't know. It seems like people try to get, so they, I think they were sold as one to 64 scale model kits. And people are trying to get a hundred dollars for the little model kit. I have no idea if that's what they're worth or not. I don't think I would pay that for them because for a hundred bucks I'd rather buy a nice assortment of Kyosho or you know a handful of Tomica Limited Vintage or something like that 
but it is an awesome car to uh, add to the collection and it's my favorite color even though it has a black hood that doesn't bother me too much a couple of things that I noticed that I found a little bit odd the shape of the sunroof is odd um, the black hood I'm not a huge fan of but it doesn't it doesn't ruin the look of the car I'm not a big fan of these these graphics here you've got uh, let's see racing wheels VDLH I don't know I don't know what the top one is I'm not familiar with it but then you've got the Neato you've got Greddy I don't know but the wheel detail is awesome you've got the five bolts I love that type of detail you know to the naked eye when you look at this it almost looks like um, it almost looks like a Konami or maybe like a like an Aoshima or something like that I wouldn't quite say it looks like a Tonoka limited vintage as far as like the quality I wouldn't say it's quite that nice, but it definitely doesn't have a Kyosho look. It's more of a it's more of a Konami type of look. But I think the car looks really good. Um, the stance is good. The front end sits a little bit high. There's just a little bit more of a gap in that wheel well than there should be. Should probably be down around there, but that's not enough. That's not enough to worry about it. It still looks really good. It still rolls really nice. Really cool car, man. I'm I'm happy to have it. Thank you, Martin, for sending that to me. He said that there would be something in there that he thought I would like, and I most definitely do. I like this more than the Impala. So um yeah and the civic wheel swap looks really good i love the firebird so i'm very grateful for the trade i appreciate it we're at 13 minutes so i'm not going to get into all of this stuff here in this video but what i will do to try to round this up to 20 is we'll do a quick little crown vic comparison tooling comparison this is the one everybody is aware of. It's a green light tool. It's probably their flagship tooling. I would bet on it that this is the most produced, most released casting in their entire catalog. Making appearances in series ranging from county roads to black bandit to hot pursuit virtually there's at least one in every six car hot pursuit release so i mean this thing has been beaten like a dead horse and yet collectors still go after it so it's a very sought after tooling it really doesn't matter what the deco is but i think the undercover cars and the civilian decos are a little bit more desirable and sought after but this one here is a homeland security i think this is the first time we've seen this tooling with this light bar i really dig this light bar it's actually my favorite light bar that they have because it is the closest light bar to what cop cars had you know as as a kid growing up that's what all the cop cars that i saw had but we'll compare this casting which if we give it a good look around it's got really nice tempo headlights really nice grill detail steel wheels side view mirrors 
and really nice painted tail lights. Now the light bar is lensed and it is transparent. Very cool feature. Metal body, metal base, rubber tires with tread, all of that kind of stuff. So the other Crown Vic that we're going to look at, I think this is an early 2000s. So the one we're looking at here from Greenlight is, I think, a 2011. Yeah, that's a 2011 Ford Crown Vic. I think this one is like 02 or somewhere in there. But anyways, here you go. Now this one is ba is made by a company called Speccast. And they're out of Dyersville, Iowa. And if you guys have been collecting for any amount of time, Dyersville, Iowa is something that all collectors should be familiar with because at some point or another, that is something that you should have seen on the bottom of a car. And basically, that is where Ertl was located. I think even Ravel might have, I think Ertl might have acquired Ravel at some point. So, um, so this is made as a spec cast, but I think it's a subsidiary of Ertl. And more specifically, I think it's Ravel, because if you look at the construction of the car, it's very similar to a Ravel. The wheels, those hubcaps look a lot like an Ertl or Ravel wheel. And then all the other detail, the side view mirror, the light bar, which is also transparent. It's not nearly as nice as the light bar on the green light. But here's the big difference. This one here has transparent lens headlights. The indicator is tampoed on the back side of the headlight, which is a really nice touch. Uh, this one has a push bar, which, you know, a bunch of the green lights have a push bar. Honestly, the green light push bar looks a lot better than that one, in my opinion. And then as you come around the back, you also have transparent lens taillights. So I do like the lens detail. Uh, this is a, a Arizona DPS Highway Patrol licensed livery. And it's kind of, uh, well, if you look at the windshield here, that is just a byproduct of living in the middle of a desert. I think what happened is this sat, it either sat inside someone's car or possibly a storage shed and it caused that to melt. I've seen actual metal die cast melt. I've seen cars weaken from the heat and melt. <clears throat> so it gets really hot here and this is not uncommon. So, but I just wanted to do a quick little comparison because you know this has a lot of stuff about it that I like better than the green light but overall I would definitely score the green light much higher I think it's just a better build quality I'm sick of these little visitors I'm gonna have to spray this layout yeah I don't know what do you guys think um, I found this at an antique mall and it had a Arizona Highway Patrol card. So, you know, it's local to me. So I picked it up and I like the casting. I do. I like this kind of stuff, but I definitely prefer the green light Crown Vic. So, but I really love this Honda Accord. This thing is sick. There are not a lot of Honda Accords in 1 to 64 scale. In fact, the only other one that I know of is made by uh, Johnny Lightning. Because I don't think even Kyosho's done an Accord. I don't think Tomica Limited Vintage has done an Accord. I know Konami didn't do one. 
I don't even think Hot Wheels has done one. I'm going to have to Google it now. It's a really good chance that this is the nicest 1 to 64 scale Honda Accord out there. And I now have it in my collection. So thanks again, Martin. Uh, Martin, I am definitely interested in the PT Cruiser. I'm also interested in the Yellow Impala. So uh, I did send you some DMs. So just let me know what you're thinking. And we'll work something out. And that's it. It's Thursday night. So you all have a good Friday. I'm going to get back to the game. And I'm going to root for Nelson Aguilar to continue to crush it in the second half. But if you guys are looking for a good trade, Martin834 on Instagram. He is a auto world. Uh, he specializes in auto world. So... He has a lot of duplicates. If you're looking to, if you're looking to put together an Auto World collection, he's a good resource because while he collects a ton of Auto World, he's happy to part with his duplicates. If you can help him out, he'll help you out. So give him a holler and check him out on YouTube as well. I think on YouTube. His YouTube moniker is different than his Instagram. His Instagram is ma.rtin834. And then he's on YouTube. I think he's the Hot Wheels Hunter on YouTube. I think. But Martin, if I could make a suggestion to you. Um, you might try to link those monikers. Try to have the same moniker. I don't know. I would think that that would help, but I really don't have anything to support that claim. I'm just speculating. Anyways, thanks everyone. Have a good night. Have a good Friday. Don't work too hard. Get you some awesome die cast like this.